Well, first of all, it's the commissioner that sets the tone. We should have had a domestic violence policy some years ago, and he could have acted decisively. He had all the facts when the Rice case came up. There was no need to wait for the tape. There have been 56 incidents under his watch. So, so does it's, that mean that he should go, Lee? Because so many people are calling for his head. But others are saying that give the guy a chance. So which one is it? Well, I think we have an opportunity right now to institute programs that, first of all, will train young men not to do this. The NFL has a great opportunity because it's a sport that's so popular. I had Lennox Lewis, the heavyweight champion, cut a public service announcement that said, real men don't hit women. And athletes can really lead the way here. But, but can Roger they, Goodell still lead the way, or is he too tarnished as a result of all of this? I don't think he's too tarnished. I think that they need to move very rapidly here to speak out. There's no reason to delay in any of these cases under the personal conduct policy. You don't have to be convicted. An arrest is enough to go ahead and move. Okay. I, I want to jump in here. Lee, and if I can just get you, should Roger Goodell go or not? I don't think he, he has a whole lot of credibility, but the okay. owners will never fire him. All right. So, Lanny, should he go or not? Uh, no, I don't think he should go that he owned up to an egregious mistake and is trying to rectify it, which is... I think the right way to go and make a mistake into a teaching moment. Let me get and Jatendra in here and then, I'll, and then I'll continue on with your... Jatendra, do you think he should go or not? I think he is certainly, um, you know, one, there's certainly one issue, that is the leadership of the NFL. I think the issue is much bigger than Goodell. I think we have to look at the brand itself, the culture of the organization, and see how we can start implementing policies and procedures okay. that are actually going to shift that. I just wanted to get you all on that. So, Lanny, here's a question to you. Despite what the NFL and the teams have done, are not done to try to tamp this down. This is a never-ending stream of bad news. So what does he do now? I, you heard what Lee said, what he believes. But what do you think he should do now? Well, if you read the statement that he put out in trying to correct what he admitted to be a mistake, it's a very strong new policy of six games, at least suspension and banishment for a second incident. And he can now implement that policy for incidents that he was either not aware of or wasn't focused enough because he wasn't sensitive to the terrible stain of domestic violence in this country, not just in the NFL, but in the NBA and in other walks of life. And this now is a teaching moment that maybe Roger Goodell can turn something terrible and mistaken that he did. If you read his complete statement, I think he's trying to make this into a teaching moment about domestic violence in America that, as he said, it is unacceptable under all circumstances is the statement he put out. Maybe people say it's too late, mm -hmm. but he's admitted to the mistake and he's trying to now rectify it. Uh, Jitendra, obviously the tipping point would come if sponsors started pulling out and if viewers started turning away, which we haven't seen happen from the NFL yet. But Indra uh, Nui, she is the CEO of PepsiCo, mm -hmm. put out this statement tonight. I am a mother, a wife, and a passionate football fan. I am deeply disturbed that the repugnant behavior of a few players and the NFL's acknowledged mishandling of these issues is casting a cloud over the integrity of the league and the reputations of the majority of players who've dedicated their lives to a career they love. When it comes to child abuse and domestic violence, there is no middle ground. The behaviors are disgusting, absolutely unacceptable, and completely fly in the face of the values we at PepsiCo believe in and cherish. Given PepsiCo's long-standing partnership with the NFL, I know Roger Goodell. We have worked together for many years. I know him to be a man of integrity. And I am confident that he will do the right thing for the league in light of the serious issues he is facing. So that's a vote of confidence, uh, Jatendra. Do you it, think that um, he is worthy of that? You know, it, cer it certainly seems to be a vote of confidence. It's certainly not what the consumers are thinking. 48% of 3,000 Americans um, consider the NFL league to be sleazy. They describe it as being sleazy. So I think that's very telling in terms of how they actually perceive the organization to be. I think the NFL, you know, has a multitude of different challenges. It's certainly in crisis mode. I think that we need to not only look at the leadership, we need to look at what they're actually doing inside the organization, what sort of culture they have, what are their procedures and practices, Mm -hmm. And then we also have to look at how the NFL become, can become, become more transparent and more open. It's really a cost to entry to U.S. teens and millennials in particular. Transparency, authenticity, really telling us what's going on is the first step towards correcting the NFL brand.